The ring, please. The ring, the ring please. Please, please. Don't keep Don't me waiting, waiting, Dan. Not any longer, please. The ring. Don't keep me waiting, Dan. Not any longer, please. Don't keep me waiting, Dan. Not any longer, please. Don't keep me waiting, Dan. No! Scalpel. I want the scalpel. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Hear me? I want the scalpel. Scalpel. Scalpel! I want the scalpel! I want the scalpel! I fell asleep. I'm sorry. Don't look frightened. I'm, I'm all right. I'll check the fire. No, don't bother. I have an idea of the fires. Sleep. In a few minutes. Well, I know Emily will see to it that I get up in the morning, so I'm going to say goodnight to you. Would you like me to stir the fire? No, no, no. That's all right. I can do it. Not too late now. I'm fine. <laughs> Good night, Peggy. Good night. And thanks. Moments of happiness, valleys of despair and doubt. We'll return to As the World Turns in just a moment. Today, let's make chicken noodle soup with tender chicken. Well, sooner or later, Berta, you will have. The attorney and the defendant apparently fell in love during the murder trial. They make it sound sordid. You know, I have half a mind to call up the editor of this newspaper and... Of course, that's what Steve Jackson was so afraid of. Just what's happened that the newspapers would get hold of it and they'd blow it all up and they'd drag Leslie into it. Oh, Michael. You seen the paper? Yes, I saw it just now. Are you going to the hospital alone, Elizabeth? Well, I'm going to meet Ellen and Nancy there. Bye, bye, bye. I'll phone you when it's all over. I was a new bride. My floors didn't need top job. But they do now. My family puts down lots of dirt. Top jobs of floor... He's quite lucid. He's a little groggy after all. He was in surgery for quite a while. He asked to see his brother. Oh, well, Dan left the hospital. He had an important appointment. I'll tell him. I'll keep in touch with you, David. Yeah, I want to see you later. Of course.
Well, son, you heard the good news, didn't you? Hi, Dad. Yeah, I heard. And it is good news. Dan and I were in surgery. We waited until the biopsy report came in. And then we went out and we told your mother, and Elizabeth, and Nancy that they could all go home. I told you you were a great guy. <laughs> I want to see Dan. Paul. He was in to see you, but you were asleep. He had a very important appointment. Patient? I don't know. He didn't say. Now, you're still sleepy, so I won't be in anymore tonight. I'm going on home now. Believe me, I feel a lot better now than I did this morning. Have a good night, son. Okay, Dad, I will. my chart. Well, there's no reason why you can't see it, Dr. Stewart. But why don't you wait until the anesthetic completely wears off? No reason I can't see it. I wonder... as the world turns in just a moment. There are times when... Mom, what you just said, you're telling me that you don't, you don't want to live with a woman. You want to marry a woman. Precisely. <laughs> well, Dr. Baxter, this is so sudden. Well, not at all. I think you just jumped to a sudden conclusion. I... I don't recall having proposed marriage. Well, not in so many words, no. Well, not in any words of any kind. For a very logical reason, too. Well, I'm not sure I want to know the reason. How about hearing me out, and then we'll see. Because I get the feeling that you're not ready to admit that your present marriage isn't working. I have a husband. I have a lovely child. But what does all that prove? I mean, you don't even want to tell Dan why I don't know that we're going to have dinner together tonight. You're pretty sure of yourself, aren't you? Yes. Because the same thing is going on inside me that's going on inside you. Telling us in a hundred different ways that... that we not only have fun working together, we have fun... Just having fun together. I mean, eating, drinking, talking. Just being together. And you are more attractive than any... You see, if I'd met you first, or certainly if I were in Dan's place Let's right now, I'd... Just leave Dan out of this. I'm willing to leave Dan out of it, but are you? Now, 
it roll off your fingertips like this. You take the whites, I'll take the colors. What are you doing? The laundry. Yeah, Mom, want to be permanent press? <laughs> Willis, I'll do the laundry when I get back. Nope, you shop, I'll wash. Willis, that's my favorite blouse. If it fades... Hey, come on, it's all here on the box. Different clothes, different temperatures. You read the chair? Three temperatures, one detergent. Bright, fadeable colors, cold water, acrylics and permanent press, warm, and that's a foul shot. White's in hot. All temperature cheer. We know. Bye. Hey, you have to see this. Look at these colors. Acrylics and permanent press, beautiful. And remember this, that's clean. That cheer really does a great job. Cheer? What about us? Oh, thanks. Now, why don't you go outside and play laundry? All temperature cheer. For the way you wash now, all temperature. The first portion of this program has been brought to you today by All Temperature Cheer. All Temperature. We'll continue with As the World Turns, following station identification. The Steinbergs had an audience with the Pope, which doesn't sit too well with the Fitzgeralds on Bridget Loves Bernie tomorrow on CBS. A bunch of regular people like you and me sing the Diet Right Cola song. Watch. People who don't need it, drink it. Folks not on a diet to riot. Everybody likes it. Diet Right Cola. Everybody likes it. Diet Right Cola. Everybody likes it. And you know why? Does it taste so good? <laughs> you don't have to give up good taste to save on calories. Diet Right Cola tastes so good, everybody likes it. Tucker Power, Monday morning. And now the second portion of As the World Turns. It's a new rule, Mrs. Stewart. Emily has to be in her room, in her playpen, along with her toys, for one hour every day. So much of our lives are spent alone. I think it's a good idea to learn how to live with ourselves. I never thought of it that way. But alone in her room? <sighs> I don't think anybody has to feel sorry for Emily Stewart. If you were to peek in there right now, you'd find her very involved with her, her blocks or her stuffed animals, even her picture books. <laughs> she loves the bright colors. Besides, I think we all need a vacation from people now and again. <laughs> of course, the highlight every day is still just before bedtime, when her daddy reads her a story. Of sorts. You know, he points at the pictures and he, he tells her things about them. And I imagine her mother reads her a story of sorts, too? Well, yes, and, um, and very often she'll, she'll try to hurry home from work at noon so that she can have lunch with her. She can't do that too often, but... She makes the effort. Well, I'm glad to hear that. She should be home soon, shouldn't she? Well, no, no, I, I don't expect Mrs. Stewart home early this evening. She, um... She said that she wouldn't be home for dinner. Perhaps I shouldn't plan to stay. Oh, no, Mrs. Stewart. I, I know the doctor would love to have you stay for dinner. He, he so seldom gets the chance to... <laughs> Besides, we, we have a surprise for you. Emily now joins her father at the dinner table. She sits there in her high chair like a little queen. You don't feed her there, do you? Oh, no. No, she could never hold out till her daddy's dinner time. But at least she's made aware that she's a member of the family. That was her son's idea. And when Susan's not home, it's... Does Emily and her father at the table? Well, no, no. Dr. Stewart insists that I should be there, too. Well, that's as it should be. I'm not so sure, Mrs. Stewart. I, I hate to have Emily turn to me for everything. I, we've talked about this before. I, I'd like to leave. But whenever I think about leaving Emily, I... Well, Mom! Hello, oh, great to see you. Hi, Peggy. Hello, Dr. Stewart. Mwah. Mrs. Stewart is going to be joining us for dinner this evening. Yes, Mrs. Stewart. Mm -hmm. Is it all right, dear? It's perfect. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go look in on my little girl. 
You're very lucky, Dan. It's not often you find someone like Peggy Regan to look after your child. And in many ways, you're home. Yes, uh, Susan thinks she's a miracle. I imagine so. Did you know that she, Susan, won't be home for dinner this evening? Uh, yes. She's having dinner with, uh, Dr. Baxter. We'll return to As the World Turns in just a moment. Here's a ridiculous idea. Hiding Christmas presents in September. You know how I feel? Wonderful. Look, Mom, I finally reached the point where, uh, I don't pay any attention to rumors. Baxter's a uh, fine guy. He really is. Do you know him that well? Fairly well. He and Susan make a great team. In fact, that experiment they're working on now might someday turn into something big. You sound very casual about it. So is my wife. And you're perfectly agreeable to her working full time. Uh, there are lots of answers to that one. How about a glass of sherry? Love one. How about giving me just one good answer to my question? Susan's a real pro. She's serious, hardworking, and she never lets the fact that she's a woman get in her way for one minute. Mom, she's up there with the best of them. What, what more can I say? Is she as good as her teammate? Every bit. You know, in some respects, even better. Well, you know how long she's been in love with research. She's thoroughly prepared. Technique and attitude. She deserves a chance to put all of that to work. Now, if I can do what I love every day, why, why can't she? And perhaps the problem and the mistake was in having a child. No. No. Emily's... Emily's my girl. Just as... Just as Betsy is, uh, Paul's. Betsy was once your girl, in her mind. You're still very fond of her, aren't you? Of course I am. She's bright, she's sweet, she's... She's a real heartbreaker. She's got it all, Mom. Paul told me that she's been promoted to first grade. Whatever happened to kindergarten? Well, the school thought she was beyond that. You know, I bet they're right. Say, how is Paul? I only see him every now and then. How are you two getting along? Just as though we never had an argument between us. But, you know, I think he's... He's got some trouble with his eyes. Do you think it's really his eyes? Why? Have you noticed something else? It's just that for some reason he feels his whole family has let him down. Well, maybe in a way we all have. From what Liz has said, I gather that, who knows, maybe someday. You can't possibly believe that those two will remarry. I think Paul thinks they will. After all, it didn't take him long to went over Betsy. So it seems. So it is. Dan, I don't mean to change the subject, but I'm still very puzzled by your attitude. Yes, about Susan and Dr. Baxter. Mom, Susan and I understand each other. We've come to the conclusion that there's no reason she can't go her own way, and, and I go mine. And Emily? Oh, Dan, that's not right. I know I've been through it. I grew up in a home where, where there was no love between a mother and a father. I grew up loving both of them and being torn apart when they were divorced. Look, I'm, I'm not thinking of leaving Susan. All right, there was a time... But that's past. We're gonna stay a family. And don't forget, I've... I've been through a few things myself. Oh, I know. And somehow it all comes back to me. Now, how could you possibly think that? I don't think it. I know it. We'll return to As the World Turns in just a moment. Bobby's teacher. Oh? 
She's coming right over with work he missed. She's what? Help pick up this mess. I'll dust with pledge. It smells great. Like fresh lemons. It's lemon pledge. Cleans great, too. And fast. Hey, a real wax shine. You know, she'll think you've been waxing all day. With lemon pledge, all I did was dust. Oh, it's beautiful. Hey, beautiful. <laughs> Wanna answer the door? Uh, pledge, lemon or regular. It will be a meal, like any meal. Then, the country fresh flavor of parquet will shatter every thought you ever had about margarine. Country fresh flavor. Taste what it brings to fried foods. Taste it on hot biscuits. Clean, delicate. Parquet with the country fresh flavor that'll shatter every thought you ever had about margarine. That's the parquet taste, the country fresh flavor from Kraft. I don't know much about art. But? You know, you what, know you what you like. like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I like that. Well, I only wish it were an original. But even that print was more than any struggling young research man had a right to pay. Struggling young research man? Just look at this marvelous apartment, the, the, the furniture, the pictures. I guess you had to find an apartment just to fit it all in. Oh, not quite. I had no idea you were so well set up. That's why I asked you after dinner to stop by. <laughs> Seriously, why did you rent such an enormous apartment? Well, I figured a larger apartment wasn't going to be that much more expensive than a small apartment plus furniture storage, and, uh, I don't know, I don't like the feeling of being hemmed in or pushed into a corner. Except maybe in the corner of a laboratory. <laughs> there, I'm pretty happy. Well, sit down, won't you? You're a pretty contradictory character. Are you aware of that? Contradictory? Oh, now that shoe is on your foot, not mine. <laughs> yeah, how about something to drink? No, I, I don't want to drink. Do you know something? That could be considered a leading remark. Oh? Leading where, Dr. Baxter? Who knows, Dr. Stewart? Let's find out. Pillsbury introduces Bundt Cakes. Fancy cakes made easy. What's that ring of macaroon? Now you see it. Now you don't. But slice the Bundt Cake and there's the macaroon inside. Chocolate macaroon is one of three new Bundt brand cakes from Pillsbury. Cake, filling, and glaze mix all in one box. So you don't have to be a fancy baker to bake a fancy cake. New Bundt Cakes from Pillsbury. Say hello, say hello. Say hello to the no-box cookie from Pillsbury. Pillsbury's cookies don't come in a box because you can't box in this much flavor, this much freshness. Pillsbury chocolate chip cookies come fresh from the dairy case. You serve them hot from the oven, and hot from the oven beats cold from the box any day. Reach for the no-box cookie from Pillsbury. Dated for freshness in the dairy case. <laughs> furnished by Jeunesse. And now be sure to stay tuned for The Guiding Light, immediately following as the world turns next over most of these CBS stations. This is Dan McCullough inviting you to join us again.